Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how you can get your hands on the Nether Ray mounts which have been around since the Burning Crusade. Like most of the Burning Crusade mounts, they are locked behind a reputation grind. Luckily this grind isn't actually that bad and is one of the grinds that you can get done in an afternoon. For this grind, you will first need to start a quest that begins with Threat from Above from an NPC called Eula in Shatrath. This quest requires you to kill a bunch of ogres, then return to her and pick up another quest, which will take you to Skettis. Now that you're at Skettis, there is a direct daily quest you will have to do called Fires Over Skettis. This quest is pretty easy. All you have to do is hop on your mount and go around the top of the trees, setting all of these eggs on fire. Once you have done that, there will be two more quests at the hub for you to pick up. I'd suggest enabling visibility of low level quests as well, because for me they were actually pretty irritating to find until I did. Now, the two quests that you just got are fairly simple as well. The Hungry Nether Rays quest pretty much requires you to summon a Nether Ray using your quest ability and then kill off 10 lizards so that they can feed. Now, for this quest, I came across a tiny bug which I managed to fix. Essentially, killing them wasn't enough. So, what I had to do was stand on the lizards to first let them attack me, and only after that I could kill them and the rays would feed. The second quest, World of Shadow, is simpler. All that you have to do is go and kill Arakoa right next to the lizards within this small village and then we'll drop Shadow Dust. This dust is a drop from pretty much every Arakoa in the area and is actually pretty important to this rep grind. So now go ahead and turn these quests in and pick up the one new one. But before you set off to complete it, notice how your dust quest gave you a potion. Well, this potion is actually pretty vital to this rep grind and only lasts for 20 minutes. You won't be able to complete this grind without it, so make sure that you loot every single mob that you kill for more dust which can be handed into the dust quest giver. It follows the same principle as the original quest, six dust will get you one potion. But now you have your potion on, head over to the village and kill the three Arakoa specified by the quest. Also, don't forget to loot them as they can have pages and a quest item which are needed for later. Now that you have successfully killed three birds, yeah, doesn't sound as cool that way, you will be given a quest to head back to Shatrath. You can complete it by talking to this Arakoa down here and in return he will send you back to Skettis. Yeah, it's one of those juggling quests. Followed up by that quest, you will now have to go and grab Hazik's package. No, not that way. There's a box in the hut which you will need to go and get and return it to him. After returning his... <clears throat> package, you will have to go on another go and fetch quest. This one requires you to go and disguise yourself and then buy a Bloodlines book from a vendor called Sahak. Once you've handed that in, you will get your final quest in the chain. This quest is by far the most time consuming out of all of them and the best part about it is that it's infinitely repeatable, just like the dust and is what you will be doing to get exalted. So how this quest works is that you need to have the potion from the dust active and then go around killing all of the Arakoa. The mobs in the village drop pages, 10 of which can be used to summon one mob from a skull pile. Each of the mobs spawns drop a specific item which also needs to be picked up and all four are needed for the infinite version of the quest. This quest on the chain, however, just requires you to kill all four. Note that what pile you use doesn't matter, but you can spawn the same mob more than once, so just try to kill them in order when you don't have the quest tracking it for you. The hand in for this quest rewards an item which spawns a boss. This boss has its own skull pile located over here and unfortunately has a rather long spawn timer. So after killing that boss and handing in the quest, you are now done the main quest chain and can start to grind the rest of the rep. The grind consists of the dust quest alongside the last quest that you just did. It's a fairly quick grind but may wear on you as you will have to do those two quests over and over consistently for the rest of the rep. It's going to be a rather tedious grind but think about the flying face thingy you can get. But anyway guys, that's it for this video. I hope it helped you out and I wish you luck on getting your nether ray mounts. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.